I'm gonna hit you with a classic. What is going on guys? So it has been a minute since I last posted, but hey, we finally hit 900K. Home stretch, baby. So the reason I haven't uploaded is this project right here. I have been grinding nonstop. That's a lie, I was in New Zealand. But while I was there, I saw Endgame and it gave me the idea for this project. So, you know what? B business expense, I'm, I'm writing it off. No, but it was a pretty solid movie. Let me know what you guys think down in the description if you have seen it. If you haven't seen it, there's only gonna be this one spoiler. And that is that Iron Man has a glove with infinity, infinity, uh, infinity stones in it. And that is what we are going to be making today. I, I don't want to build just some prop. We want it to actually do stuff. So I came up with this idea right here. So we got the red infinity. So we got the red infinity stone, infinity. You know, I'm just going to say it different every time. So we got the red anemone stone, the blue Yosemite stone, the green Yosemite stone, and the yellow John Kennedy stone. There's also a purple one and a, a, the other blue one, but you know, we're just not going to worry about that because that is too many stones to worry about. So if you guys are subscribed, you might remember the Harry Potter one that did a while back. Now that had interchangeable fire cartridges made out of disposable lighters. So I'm thinking we do something similar with this. Now these cartridges don't have to just shoot fire. We're gonna put a bunch of stuff with them. So the trick is going to be fitting a bunch of these cartridges into a glove that can go on my wrist and to make it look cool. But uh, you know, you leave that up to me. And build montage. One SpongeBob meme reference later, the glove is done. She actually did it right for once. I 3D printed it. So uh, here's how it all works. So really there's three main parts to this and all the parts are modular so you can mix and match. Say you only want the hand light parts, you can wear that. So let's first start off with the actual glove piece. Pretty much made this by 3D printing an Iron Man glove I just downloaded on the internet. I'll include all necessary files down in the description. Printed it out, chucked an LED flashlight in the palm, just uh, put a little bit of diffused plastic around the ring, just to give it that classic Iron Man repulsor effect. And because this is an Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet, we added the LED stones on the back. So these all have individual LED lights inside them. I think we got like red, orange, red, green, blue, indigo, violet, A-E-I-O-U, sometimes Y, I, I don't know. Third grade. So yeah, these will all light up. In the front, we have all the button controls. Button, 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 button. Four buttons, four fingers, four infinity stones. I know there's more, but this is what we got. Still gotta collect the two others. So you press each of these buttons, the lights will light up, or you can have the lights go on at once. It's very modular. It goes on your hand like this. As you can see, we painted it first like a red color, and then I brushed on like some aluminum looking finish to make it look like it's scuffed up. Well, I saw that on like X-Robots. Shout out to James for that idea. Uh, we also got the 
3D printed fingers as well. Come on. Ah, why did, mm, why did I put them in this thing? Got the fingers as well, again, just to really complete the Iron Man effect. Can wear them or not, but uh, it does make it a little difficult to hit these buttons. So honestly, I just go without them. If you're trying to look the part, fingers are cool. So the second part of this whole glove thing is this battery pack and Arduino right here. This fits on your wrist, has a little bit of Velcro on the side here. And then to turn it on, you just plug in the 9 volt battery clip right there. Arduino boots up. Beautiful. So now we can connect all of these wires to the Arduino. This is what it looks like with everything on. Got the fingers, got the Hennessy stones, palm light, some classic Iron Man shit right here. Uh, but the last part, definitely not least though, is this right here. So this piece houses the four lighters that we can put whatever we want in. And it also has a little igniter right here. A little arc goes across. So to refill this, it's a little bit of a hassle. If I was gonna do an upgrade, I'd probably change this, but for now, to load it. We've got some screws on either side uh, that hold this bottom piece on. So we just pretty much take these off. Let's screw one. And then we have access to the main brick right here. So this is where all the mechanical stuff happens. We've got four servos attached to four lighters. Got these 3D printed little bits right here screwed into the lighters. When the servo pulls these down, they decompress and they shoot out whatever is inside the lighters. So see just like that and the four servos are controlled by the four buttons on the palm whenever you press down a button one of these servos will go down and the cording light will turn on as well so let's say we have some green fire in this solution press down the first button green fire would come out of here and the green light would go on as well kind of like how it happens in the movies generally whatever anemone stone they're using kind of the same color that comes out of the hand you can see when we press the various buttons the different servos are controlled so we have full control over which thing we want to shoot when. And then as I said before, we've got a little pilot light to ignite whatever we want. It doesn't have to be fire though. I just want to make that very clear for all you uh, YouTube demonetization people. This can be safe. It just probably won't be. But if you do anything like this, just don't use it with fire. Don't condone that. Classic disclaimer right there. You can't, you can't beat that. So here we go guys, got everything on. Thing looks freaking sweet in my opinion. Some things I would change, I would make it a little bit easier to reload obviously. Maybe fireproof it a bit more because if you use fire with this, it's 3D print, it's gonna melt. So we can really only use the fire for like short bursts, but uh, that should be good. Again, don't try this with fire. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty safe otherwise. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for a first attempt. Let's try this thing out. So in order to make colored fire, I explained this in the previous Harry Potter video, basically to make green fire, you can use boric acid and heat antifreeze. Mix those two together, heat burns pretty clear and the boric acid turns it green. If you wanna make red fire, you can use lithium from some AA batteries. Make sure you get the ultimate lithium ones, but don't, don't actually get them because, you know, remember, Disclaimer. That again with the heat antifreeze, and you're gonna get yourself some red fire. Orange fire, again, just classic fire. And uh, blue fire, this actually ended up not working as well as I thought. I think because when you put it in the lighter cartridge, in order to pressurize it, you have to add butane in order to get it to come out. Um, and by doing this, the butane actually adds a little bit of color. So it ended up just coming out orange. A bit of a bummer, but uh, hey, the green and the red still work pretty well. Plus we got ice, we got water, orange juice, whatever else you want in there. It's a party for sure. Get Not bad. Leave your ideas down in the description of uh, stuff you want to see me make in the future. Go follow me on the Instagram at video. But that about wraps up this video. So uh, take it easy, guys. And we'll catch you in the next video.